we will discuss the key points from our recent study. Activation of beta-catenin signaling by TFF1 loss promotes cell proliferation and gastric tumorigenesis. So let's start by understanding what's already known on this subject. Trifoil factor 1, known as TFF1, is expressed in the gastric epithelia and secreted by the mucus secreting pit cells of the corpus and anterobiloric regions of the stomach. TFF1 plays a critical role in maintaining mucosal integrity. Loss of TFF1 is associated with the development of gastric cancer in human and genetic knockout mouse models, suggesting its role as a tumor suppressor gene. So what are the new findings in our study? We found that loss of TFF1 promotes beta-catenin activation in gastric mucosa and along stages of gastric tumorigenesis in mice. So having a look at the normal gastric mucosa in the TFF1 wild type, we found that immune staining of beta-catenin is restricted to the membranes of epithelial cells. Whereas in the TFF1 knockout mouse model, we found that in low-grade dysplasia, high-grade dysplasia, and adenocarcinoma, beta-catenin's immune staining is strong and nuclear. We also found that TFF1 regulates beta-catenin localization, transcription activity, and downstream targets such as CMEK and cyclin D1. Using immunofluorescence on cancer cells, we detected strong nuclear localization of beta-catenin. Upon reconstitution of TFF1, we detect a significant reduction in the nuclear expression of beta-catenin. To measure the transcription activity of beta-catenin, we utilized the BTOP reporter assay, and we detected a significant reduction in the beta-catenin transcription activity following TFF1 reconstitution. To confirm these findings, we performed quantitative real-time BCR, and we detected a significant reduction in CMEK expression level and similar results for cyclin D1. To investigate the relevance to human disease, we performed immunohistochemistry staining on human stomach tissue. Normal gastric mucosa showed strong expression of TFF1 and membranous staining of beta-catenin. However, dysplastic and cancerous lesion showed significant reduction to loss of immune staining of TF1 associated with strong and nuclear expression of beta-catenin. So how might this study impact on clinical practice in the foreseeable future? We have shown that TF1 plays a bipolar role in maintaining the integrity of gastric mucosa and suppressing oncogenic activity of beta-catenin in gastric cancer cells. The development of peptide-based therapeutic approaches that reconstitute TF1 in cancer cells may offer a rationale for new treatment modalities of gastric cancer.